What is going on all my heavy metal heads out there? Thank you very much for tuning in. This is going to be a very brief video. I just want to check in with you guys let you know what's going on. Uh, do a little bit of out loud thinking. Check in with you guys let you know uh, why I haven't been putting out any content as of late. I actually, uh, as you might know, have I, as I've been preaching, how the housing crisis and... Uh, how all of us who are prepping and getting ready for this thing and stacking this amazing metal are going to take advantage of a great situation. Well, the house I was renting, unbeknownst to me, was actually sold and the landlords wanted to evict me and my wife and who just so happens to be a police officer. Do, with, do what you will with that thought kind of made me angry using our tax dollar funded personal vehicle I should say her our tax funded police vehicle unmarked vehicle for personal private business to come to our place and check out things and have her kids and family and all that on my police vehicle so anyways yeah I had to move <clears throat> We did uh, find a new place. It's actually pre-leasing, so we're not actually in our new place yet. It is going to be much bigger than what I was in. So it wasn't like, oh man, I'm out on the street. What am I going to do? You know, nothing like that. I mean, it was in a really big rush. We had about two weeks, two and a half weeks notice at... Uh, they were serious about evicting, and so, as opposed to pushing the laws and the eviction moratoriums, all that, it was really actually just better to wash our hands of it and move on with our lives as a blessing in disguise. Place was a dump anyway, and we're moving on up into a nicer place, so I'll be able to provide more content and, uh, you know, more of a stable uh, environment, if you will. I'll have my own room as far as for me. The man cave, if you will, that my wife really wants. So, yeah. So, enough of me, as you can hear. I'm actually at my in-laws until we can actually move in. Their phones ring off the hook. But, uh, it is my grandmother-in-law's birthday today. So. <laughs> Alright, so, let's get to this, huh? I just wanted to really check base with you guys and thank all my subscribers. Uh... Please be patient with me. I appreciate everything you guys have uh, tuning in. Hopefully that I'm able to give you good information. You can see here a little stack of Krugerrands. That is the main subject of uh, my latest as far as my stack. I went after these and I actually have another. Actually, all seven of them are not here. There's actually probably one more in here. Yeah. So, bot seven. Under, when I saw it go under 30, I pounced on it. I got these at tw low 28s. And the day after, I got seven more at around the... Silver had gone back up just a tad bit. Got them at around the 29. I still wanted to stay under that 30. And these were on any quantity sale through SD Bullion. And I must have got the last 14 in stock because last time I went on there... If you have Krugerrands, Silver Krugerrands in any of your order, it won't be shipped until April 30th for new inventory. So, I'm glad I got in when I did. So, yeah. Really nice coins. Really nice coins. They were straight up. I mean, I, I do, I'm pretty due diligent about my shopping. I checked the Britannias. I don't even bother with the Silver Eagles because I already know the premiums are 10 bucks or so. And these were about $4 and little, I think I want to say about $4.5 premium. And no matter what uh, Sovereign Mint coin that I looked at, none of them were as good a price as the Silver Kruger. And, and they're nice coins, they really are. <clears throat> I don't have any problem with stacking these all day. So, yeah... Just a quick touch base with you guys, though. So, uh, we'll get to some subjects here uh, in the near future. 
I have not dug my head in the sand and just been oblivious to what's going on in the world. I am going to give you guys some good content, some good information. Uh, just a reminder, be aware of what's going on around you. Stay away from the lamestream media. Look up independent news sources. Morris Clayton, Morning Invest is the name of his show. I highly recommend him. Uh, other independent journalism shows. I don't know if I consider myself that. I, I consider myself a silver slash news outlet. Other than I'm not actually a news anchor or anything. I don't know. I do deliver some news. Hopefully it's worth your time and effort. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a schmuck and like to think out loud. I'm just a guy. I mean, in all honesty, I'm just a guy on YouTube hoping to help somebody in the world. And if it's only just one person I can reach, I feel like I've done a good thing. So, And if that person's you, thank you very much. I, you make me feel a lot better about myself and my life. <laughs> Hopefully you can take the word and spread it on to others. So, like I said, super short video today. Just wanted to touch base with all my subscribers. If you're new, stay tuned. I normally do some pretty good content, I would like to think. I'm a goofy ranting guy. Sometimes I get off on tangents and what we discuss around what's going on in the world and some news articles and as you can see, this beautiful metal silver. So stick around. My subscribers, thanks again. And we will be talking to you soon. Keep your stack rolling. Keep your stack rocking. And we will get at you back soon. Okay? Thanks again, everybody. We'll talk to you on the next chapter.